No. They did nothing. Nothing! <laughs> you need to calm down. I'm not impressed with your histrionics. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, we're back in Aquila City. Hey, finish up doing? this mission. Let's see what we've got here. Would think that deadly predators would have driven off settlers. <laughs> Humans. We can be so stubborn. You know, for a minute there, I thought you were gonna tell me that you weren't human. Okay. Hey, deputy. Uh, hey, all the way back up to the top again. See, and now I've lost my way. Aquila is really the heart of the Free Star Collective. Down this hall. Might be hard work, but it sure beats living under the boot. I mean, was it really necessary to put the office way up here and I have to come up here every time? Oh no, I have to talk to somebody else this time. Our newest deputy. Yeah, are you Alex? Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? I'm thinking what's stopping you from traveling to Neon? Oh, I can't fly anywhere. Issues with my Eustachian tubes. Being in a pressurized environment uh, is like someone taking a laser cutter to tubes. the sides of my head. It's not great, but at least I can pretend to visit the party capital of the galaxy by having you tell me about it. I mean, I know I'm just a soldier, but you station. Anyway, um, I didn't really care for Neon. It's really quite crowded. What? You serious? Well, that's a first. I guess not everyone likes to have a good time. Speaking I guess of not. which, on to business. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Yeah, I need your help with the encryption on this slate. Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. Okay. Huh, you don't get help much, do you? Oh, why should I? Nothing but dirt, cold air, and ash are waiting for me out there. Hmm, I, I like my nice, cozy, antisocial office space much more, thanks. Yeah. So how long do you think it'll take you to break the encryption? It'll take as long as it takes. You can't rush a job like this. Well, one thing I can promise you, though, is that it'll go a lot faster if I don't have to answer silly questions. Ah, uh, here we go. All right. Well, you have fun. Oh, I will. I guarantee it. All right, let's go. Before I have to pimp slap him. Better this than being some dust wrangler on Montara Luna. Um... How do I get back upstairs? Oh, finally. I need a word. Marshal. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? I did, yeah. She was a shipjacker named Grace Early. Grace Early? Yeah, I've heard the name once or twice. Sounds like you're making real progress. I think I've more than earned a promotion. That ain't for you to decide. I want you focused on the job at hand, not on a promotion. I would have given you the promotion. What Thank did you, you learn from the Dreja. starship thief? Thank you. Well, 
Well, the first has a money man called Mako, and also someone named Maya Cruz. Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Right, well, what can you tell me about Maya Cruz? They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. I see arrogance is not in short supply around here, Marshal. Who do you know? Who do you think you know who Marco is? Well, wow, that's... that's confusing way of asking the question. You think you know who Marco is? There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money. And when the 1st Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk the family fortune came from smuggling, and I believe it. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. But I guess that got put on hold when they locked him up. All right, I'm gonna need some information to track them down. Like what? Oh boy, okay. Um, Marco is keeping his location a secret. How can I find him? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Great. Where would someone go for long-term medical treatment? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. All right, I think that's enough to go on. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, Deputy. All right, thank you. Asia. Let's head on out. You know, I'm enjoying this a lot more than tracking down artifacts, I hate to say it. Although I know I need to get back to those, and we have the issue of the terramorphs that I still have to look into. Hopefully Just somebody else is uh, taking care of that, though. We should be on our guard if we venture outside the city. The Ashta are quite formidable. Oh yeah. Thanks. All right, Vasco, get on board. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is is that how the saying goes? Why we have all those explosive canisters down there? I really need to get rid of them, but I don't think I can. All right, Barrett, Andresia, action stations. We're about to lift off. And Barrett, I got us some ship parts. You're the Kila City, so the next time we get into a firefight, we should be uh more than capable of making repairs. All right, 
Stand by for liftoff. Engines ready. do without you. All right. Stand by. Going to make a jump. In four, three, two, one. Jump. Jump complete. Want to do it again just for fun? No? No. Uh, I know you would. Let's just stick to our mission. It is really good to have you on board. Now we have some more chatter and you provide a lot of interesting information. And I'm not sure about you, Andresia. I thought you were kind of a cold-blooded killer type. But I guess I was wrong. All right, we're approaching the station. Welcomes all patients, whether Freestar or UC. All right, Doc. Ship is now docked. Perfect. Alrighty. Didn't even smudge the paint. All right, Barrett. You and Vasco, watch the ship. Andresia, you're with me. I have never required treatment here, and I hope that I never do. Well, I think... Hello. Hello. Ma'am, I'm just a courier. Oh, I okay. Understand. I'm not blaming you directly. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes. That sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that Need lives are at stake, and the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. Anything I can help you with? Um. It's encouraging Excuse to know me. that every case we cure here likely means dozens or hundreds more can be saved in the future. Hello, sir. First I usually have to deal with is folks worried about getting diagnosed fast enough. Can't blame them. I'm with the Freestar Collective Rangers. Andresia. You're messing up my... conversation here. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? You know, the Marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Then you know I'm tracking down members of the First. Sad part is, I don't even know what the First is. And having some success, by the sound of it. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. Oh, really? So, is one of them First mercenaries here at the clinic? The Marshal looks older than you. Well, she had some kind of urgent medical issue, so I'm confident she's here. Well, every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. 
Mm. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. And she's also on the Council of Governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here. And I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hmm. hard? Or if you're thinking hard about work. going into medicine, just be really sure <laughs> hey, Chief. you commit to it. A little more of the former than really? the latter. Sure. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you in Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else, I'll be in my office. All right, I appreciate it. Ari. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Really? That's interesting. The person I'm tracking is a computer expert. Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer systems, so uh, I doubt that's related. Yeah, still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Her name is Maya Cruz. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but... Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? Well, no, not really. I only know it required a long hospital stay and sounded pretty urgent. That should be more than enough. I can access the patient records from my terminal. Assuming the database cooperates, come on. Never a dull moment. But where are we going? I could see that the need for a ranger here. I mean, some of the patients could become unruly. Okay, give me just a minute here. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Uh, I would assume which so. actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. I never told you she was wanted. What if the records were tampered with? I guess it's possible. Maybe I can give you another option. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace, what's her last name? Doolin, Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman, I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. If I can find the source of the computer issues, that might lead me to Maya. You're welcome to use the Ranger Station Terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. I appreciate it. So, I guess it's not this terminal then. Okay, let's go over here. Something is going on here.
maintenance performed six days ago by an A. Miller. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. What? Excuse me. I don't mean to be rude, but unless this is a medical emergency, please get someone else to help you. Yes. What do you want? <laughs> Are you the one in charge of the VIP wing? Yes, that's right. I'm afraid we don't take walk-ins. If you want a room in our VIP wing, you'll need to make arrangements in advance. Sir, you see me here dressed in a, a Freestar Collective Ranger uniform. Don't get cute. I could really use your help, though. I need to talk to someone in the VIP wing. I'm sorry, but we don't permit unscheduled visitors to that area. I'm not a You'll visitor. You'll need to ask whoever it is that you wish to visit to make arrangements with me. Who exactly are you? I'm Deputy Hill. And I require your cooperation with an investigation. And I require you to respect my authority as a senior doctor here at the clinic. Oh, really? The answer is no. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. Flexibility clearly is not one of his virtues. Oh, man. You know, I hate going down this path of telling people that lives might be at stake because you really find out who people are and how they don't care about other people's lives. So let me try this route. Just hear me out for a minute. I'm a busy man, so make it quick. Help me protect the people of the Freestar Collective. I took an oath to do no harm. I won't be the cause of anyone's suffering. Oh, good. If you help me now, Doctor, I might be able to help you down the road. You want me to risk my standing here for a favor I might never need? I think not. Innocent people could be in real danger here. That sounds serious. Maybe you're right. I'm tracking mercenaries who are cold-blooded killers, and they will kill again. I fail to see how that's relevant here. I think I've heard enough. Oh. Boy. I've given you my answer, and I'm not changing my mind. Oh, I'll tell you this persuasion stuff. All right, what have we got in here? I thought there was a... What am I looking for? Please tell me I don't have to hack up. Pick the lock. They're such a mountain. Yes. Board. What do you really want? Use a hand. Doctor. But I don't want to inconvenience anyone. I could really use your help. I need to get into the VIP wing. Don't ask why. It's confidential. Is that so? Well, I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed. Nobody's allowed in without my permission. And I'm not going to give that without a very good reason. Who exactly are you? <laughs> Deputy Hill at your service. You could be Solomon Cole himself and my answer would be the same. No. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. Flexibility clearly is not one of his virtues.
All right, let's try this again. Are you really going to cling to policy when there might be lives at stake? Do you need your hearing check, deputy? Oh, boy. We have a machine for that just down the hall. Well, if that's your final answer, then I'll just have to think of something else. I hope that means you won't be bothering me again. What about you? Dr. Darvish took a chance on me, hiring me fresh out of training. Need to make sure she doesn't regret it. What's your role here? Tending physician. I'm new here, so... Really what I do is watch Dr. Darvish's every move and... Try to imitate it. Sounds a lot less impressive when I say it out loud. Hmm. I'd like to help out if I can. Oh, well, that's appreciated. There really isn't anything you're qualified to do in here. No offense, of course. But, hmm. I do have some data requests from other facilities in the Settled Systems. Everyone always wants to know what we're up to. Usual courier has been less than reliable lately. So if you could get this slate where it needs to go, that would help us. And put a few credits in your pocket. Hmm, great. All right. See you later. So what is in here? I really do have to break into that safe. Is that is this what you're telling me? Yeah, let me close the door. Cause I don't see anything else here. Wait, what's this? Oh, a digit. Oh, that's steal a digit pick to break into a safe. Are we really doing this? I think I messed this up already. Maybe not. key card to the VIP wing, of course. What is this? An old earth hunting rifle. And succeed at that before we are discovered. All right, let's go. Where are you? How do you even know what I'm doing? You're not even in the same room. Can I take these digipics? Thanks for watching the door. Oh, you look like I work here, right? A couple of patients didn't seem to think so. Awkward situation. certainly hope that we don't end up in a firefight in a medical facility. Oh, what? Quiet. Did you hear that? Oh, shit. Shoot.
once again, we are triumphant. I wasn't expecting that. Docking port. Search for clues. So somebody, the hacker, must have reprogrammed that turret. Oh, look out! Oh! Stealing. So we got several guests here. Treatment continues, but issues persist. Prognosis is not optimistic. Patient seems unusually anxious since receiving a recent courier slate. Possibly some bad news from back home. T. Cassidy. So... I'm not sure what to make of this. Execute automated pre-flight procedures. Wait. Hold on. There's another one. I was a VIP guest. Did we learn anything from that? I don't think so. Wait, what's this? Maya. The rangers are on to us. They're going to find you, and when they do, an alias won't protect you. The best bet is to hunker down somewhere safe. Your hideout in the old asteroid mine at Sakharov should be ideal. Maybe steal one of the clinic's emergency ships if you need a quick escape. I know you don't have much time. The operation's almost over. Thanks for helping see it, see it through, and if it don't get the chance if I don't get the chance to tell you in person I'm eternally grateful for your brave service and loyalty to the unit it's been an honor it was Major Hull all right it looks like we're going to Sakharov let's go Nobody gets alarmed with this, uh, my gun out. Nice hat. Thank you. There's certainly All right. no shortage of things to do around here. Vasco, get on board. Alrighty, everyone stand by for departure. Action stations. Stable. Thrusters are a go. Ready. All right. Good to hear. We're headed to Sakharov. Bring in grav drive online. Jump in three, two, one. Jump.
is this some kind of a, a station? Alright, reduce engine speed. Approach with caution. We're docking, I'm not hailing them. Asia with me. All right, be on guard, Vasco. I love how you always looking out for the ship. You could have given us a Captain way. Hill. Hello. Hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. No, this looks like this is gonna be fun. What is this, uh? Alright, we can't get through there, come on. Apparently, when freezing to death, one may experience a warm, cozy feeling. I would prefer not to verify that firsthand. All right, weapons out. Heard your ship, Doc. If you are who I think you are, then you're here to bring me in. I had to horn you. I've had more than enough time to prepare for this. So either you leave now, or I'll be burying what's left of you. Oh no, We're look out. Look life. out. Meet your death. But the Oh, there's a bunch of them. Take your best shot. Where have they gone? There you are. There's still one loose, though. Cowards. Come on. I'm guessing we need to go down, not up. You hear it? There it is. Oh, I've heard about these walls. Structures down here. All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. There's a lot of them things down there. A shard hopper. You ready? Geode in space was not on my to-do list today, but hmm, a geode I got you. ability that I have that I think is worthwhile. Uh oh. Hmm. Carol, what's that? Oh, th those things I hate. Oh. What is it? A heat leech? that oh the terminal boy I'm jumpy might as well take this all right I don't see anything here might need what's what's this back here a decontamination room all right let's go it's a good thing they gave me this gun oh no what
Looks like this would be the only way through. Is there a generator or something I need to turn on? to the lock picking again. Never had the patience for computer systems. Well, I'm having to learn. Otherwise, we won't get anywhere. There, there's no other alternative. If I can't hack, we couldn't get through this door. see anything in here. I guess we're going deeper. Oh, this is... This is something. Uh-uh. How are we supposed to get down there? I have to just use my jetpack. But I'm concerned that there's no way out. Oh, I 
I know that had to hurt. There's more. Look out! Can't take much more. Curse you. Please tell me there's... There's not any more. Caves like this can be an excellent way to conceal oh, the presence that? of an illegal operation. I should know. Yeah. 
something else here. Another turret. There it is. And a robot. being prepared. Finish it. Hmm. I need to, some answers. Why is the first season farmland? Because uh, that's what we were hired to do. The pay was good, too. But the best part was getting to stick it to the people who turned their backs on us. Who hired the first and why? <laughs> I can't wait until you find out. Uh-oh. So, this is about revenge? Of course it is! We spent 20 years behind bars because our leaders got scared and called off our attack just when we had the battle won. And did the people of the Free Star Collective that we fought and died for come to our defense? No! They did nothing. NOTHING! <laughs> you need to calm down. I'm not impressed with your histrionics. They can die. Just like most of our unit did. And back to the business at hand. Fine. I ain't feeling conversational anyway. You seem pretty eager to die. Of course I ain't. What kind of fool would be eager to die? I'm just not I'm stupid enough at to her. deny what's inevitable. I wish I were. How about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live, and I ain't spending them behind bars. Oh. You want to put an end to me here and You're now? You're still ill. Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. I'm not leaving until I get some information about the first. Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. I suppose if I shot her in the head, you would freak out. What have you got in here anyway before I leave? back up to the surface. The bottom floor.
Mm -mm -mm. I mean, it, it seems like it would be humane of me to just kill her. She's been suffering so long. All right, I'm not gonna do it because you're probably gonna have a fit. I really don't have a feel of your personality. I know Sarah would just freak out completely. All right, where is this gonna take us? Injuries. Well, this seems worth a look. Top floor. That was quick. This is Vasco, okay. Well, we made it. Captain Hill, do you require my assistance? I need you to get on board. We need to get out of here. And the interior of this ship, Captain. Ship's clear. It's just us among the stars again, Captain. All right, we need to get out of here. Wait a minute. What's going on? There we go. Oh, oh why, why can't I just go? All right, here we go. Stand by for hyper jump. Grav jump. In one. Jump. Oh, I'm supposed to give this to you. Oh, my God. Helga says I spent too much time at my terminal. She's probably right. Hey there, deputy. Way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? Hmm, <laughs> it doesn't matter. All I care about is bringing down the first, whoever they are. Well, with an attitude like that, I sure wouldn't want to be one of them. No, you wouldn't. So, what brings you by? I've got another slate for you. Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, another it'll give me one? more context for the encryption oh, and should speed go. things up. Yeah. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. All right, Andresia. Let's get back to the ship and let's get some rest. It's well deserved. 